Maker-centered learning means that there's choice, there's freedom for students, not being afraid to fail, like keep trying. That's a big deal that we're trying to let the kids know it's okay to fail because you've learned a lot and think about what you learned and try again. The idea that you can make the world that you want to live in is a huge part of Maker Center Learning. My name is Kenneth Scott. I teach at West Oakland Middle School and teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade engineering. And so we have a very project-based, project-driven class. And so Maker Ed in my class looks like a big old mess of stuff. We're looking at parts and how to take things apart and maybe not ever put them back together, but to see how it works. Agency by Design is a research project at Project Zero, a research institute at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. Agency by Design is in year five. In phase one of the research project, the researchers were looking at maker-centered learning. What is maker-centered learning? And in particular, what is the disposition that students are trying to achieve within maker-centered learning. They found that maker empowerment is the thing that we are trying to achieve. And what that is, having a sensitivity to the man-made dimensions of our world, and also feeling empowered and having agency to change and hack those, those objects, but also systems. We have teachers looking at student work together, using inquiry cycle tools, starting to develop a prototype and hack documentation and assessment tools. Uh, this strand of the research uh, suggests that if maker-centered learning is going to be more than a passing trend, then we need to figure out assessment and documentation strategies uh, to support what we call the real benefits of maker-centered learning. I believe documentation and assessment should be fun. Before anything else, showing your understanding, showing your knowledge, showing the skills that you have mastered should be exciting. It should be something that you're almost bursting out of your seams to show somebody, this is what I've learned and look what I can do with it. And what's been really cool about Agency by Design is that pushed me to think about documentation and assessment to a whole nother level. So we're collaborating with another group of educators from the Bay Area. This time over 90% of them work in public schools, over 70% of them work in the Oakland Unified School District, which is a great opportunity to look at how maker-centered learning and documentation and assessment practices are playing out in urban public schools. It's like coming up with projects for the kids, not worrying about, okay, what's, what's right or wrong. Having done this class, it, it allows me that freedom, a way of not failure, just like I just told the kids. In education, we don't often get the opportunity to look closely and slowly at the amazing work that we're doing in the classroom, reflecting on our best practices and how that might change or influence our next steps. Here in this fellowship, this is an amazing collaboration between researchers and practitioners. And here in the East Bay, we have an opportunity working in urban public schools to say this is what works for us and to have a huge impact on the research that will go out for the rest of the country and the rest of the world to be able to use and hack and prototype in their own way for many years to come.